So I have here an array of 915 megahertz antennas suitable for the Meshtastic nodes. So you get the little chip antenna when you buy your board, it's kind of to give it to you as part of that. Um, I also got the little stubby antenna as part of that. Um, so in previous testings, I found that the um, chip antenna and the stubby antenna work about exactly the same. The only real advantage is that the stubby antenna comes with the SMA bulkhead connector. So you can put this through a case and mount the antenna on the outside of the case. So I'm not gonna check the uh, chip antenna in this particular um, experiment. I'm only looking at antennas with SMA male connectors on them. So we're going to be checking, you know, as a baseline, kind of the stubby default antenna you might get. Um, this antenna here is $10 for a two pack, so it's basically $5 for the antenna. It comes with the SMA male bulkhead connector. Um, you can turn it 180 or 90 degrees upright. If you do that, it doesn't work quite as well as if it's like this 180 straight. So I'm going to be testing it in that orientation. I've heard good things about the Muzzy Works antenna. Um, this is a whip antenna, it costs about $13. I got this guy, and the antenna that came with it looks to be pretty long, so I'm just going to take the antenna off the, you know, wish mess tap um, and just try that to see how it compares here. And then this guy is really in a different class, so, you know, we're talking $12, $13 antenna, $5 antenna. I don't know what this costs, but it's probably in that range. This guy here is a $35 kit, um, and as you can see, it's at least twice as long as the longest one of these kind of indoor style antennas. This is fiberglass, um, and it is designed to be mounted outdoors. It has a type N connector, which is kind of a waterproof type connector, and it comes with a cable that goes from the type N down to the SMA. And in this case, it's an SMA female, so I will need to use kind of a male-to-male -male SMA adapter to be able to you know, use this in the same situation. Uh, it also comes with a mounting kit for mounting it outdoors because it is intended for outdoor mounting kind of on a pole or something. Um, so, you know, this is a step up from these guys. We'll see, you know, does that extra price and larger size, I think, is more important there, um, how much of a gain it gives us. All right, so I have the antenna kind of mounted upright a little away from the table, kind of a ground plane under it. Um, and at 906 megahertz, it's 2.6 sometimes jumping down to 2.5, but usually 2.6 standard wave ratio. So this is the antenna you can get for a two pack of these for $10. Um, extended at 180 degrees, it's uh, 3.1. You tilt it to 90 degrees, it jumps up to 4.1. So the standing wave ratio of this little guy is actually a little better than that guy, even though it's longer. So this antenna here came with my WishTap device, um, and it is 1.6. I've seen it hit 1.5, so like 1.54 um, at 906 megahertz. Um, and when you fold it down, that jumps up to about 2.5, 2.6. Right, this is the Muzzy Works 915 and it's designed specifically for the US bands or Australian bands. Um, and of the antennas I've measured so far, it has the lowest SWR, so it's down here at 1.14. Um, so out of all these antennas, this kind of has the second best SWR, um, but the Muzzy Works has the best SWR. That means it's most effective in getting the electrical power out as radio waves. All right, and this outdoor fiberglass antenna, um, it says it's 902 to 928 megahertz. And it is, you can see there's an actual curve here. It looks like the low point of the curve is a little to the right of 906, but at 906, it's a very respectable 1.15 um, standing wave ratio. All right, I have this guy outside about eight feet high, and we are going to trace route to a node that I have about a mile away. So you can see here I have negative 19 and negative 18 decibels 
for the signal strength. We are going to repeat that trace route three times before I change out the antenna. Now the signal to noise ratio is negative 16, RSSI is negative 127 dBm. It says signal none, but we're, you know, we're actually able to send messages back and forth. Just, it's tenuous. All right, second trace route results, uh, negative 16 and negative 17. All right, let's try a third trace route. All right, we have negative 18, negative 19. All right, we have the Muzzy Works antenna in basically the same location. We're going to do that same trace route. And here we're negative 15.25 and negative 14.75. So the closer that number is to positive or zero, the better. You can see here the text is yellow instead of red. Signal noise ratio is negative 11.25. RSSI is negative 122 dBm. The signal is still bad, um, but it has two orange bars instead of one red bar. Alright, trying that one last time. Here we're at negative 11.25 and negative 11.25. I want to point out that this antenna is actually not that bad. It's just that the Muzzy Works antenna is just a little bit better. All right, this is a designed for the outdoor rated fiberglass antenna. It claims five decibels gain. I moved that antenna up about three or four feet higher than the other antennas, um, and it's not encumbered by anything at all. All right, that is much better. We have negative 6 and negative 3.75. That is a good signal there. Try this trace route again. Negative 7, negative 5.5. So these are my current recommendations for mesh-tastic node antennas. Um, for a small whip antenna, I recommend the Muzzy Works. Um, I've purchased two of them. Um, I'm using them on various nodes, solar-powered nodes. This one's glued to my node, so um, I can't take it off. That's what the wrapper looks like. Um, from a small whip antenna, portable antenna for a device, these guys have the best um, standing wave ratio I've seen in real world performance. They work just a little bit better than even the really good other whip antennas I've had with devices. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. It's like $13 to $15 for that antenna. Um, now, from a outdoor antenna, this is the only antenna I've purchased, the first one I purchased, but it had a good standing wave ratio. The outdoor performance was a definite improvement over something like this. Um, it comes with the mounting hardware, um, and it has a female SMA connector, but it includes the adapter to go to male SMA. Um, so if you're willing to mount something higher up, this guy gives real good performance for its you know, relatively low price for an outdoor antenna with mounting hardware and cable. I think it was about $35 for the package. Um, if you want the cable to be shorter, you're going to need to buy some crimp iron SMA male connectors for the right cable size and crimp them on and shorten the cable yourself. But if you want something small handheld, Muzzy Works is currently my best, uh, best antenna I've found.